Hi, my name is Jack Hamilton, and I'm here tonight to talk to you about why nuclear energy is a sufficient alternative energy source to fossil fuels used in the United States. The three main points that I will be discussing tonight are why, is why nuclear energy is safe, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly, which leads to a better alternative energy source. <clears throat> the first area of my claim that I will cover is the safety of nuclear energy. A main concern for the general public when it comes to nuclear energy is possibly a failure. The events of uh, Fukushima come up to mind, and people are unsure that it could happen again, if it cannot. However, since the incident, and, and since that incident, incident, incident of Chernobyl, um, nuclear facilities have been installing new safety measures that are trapped in systems um, that are ensure that it will never happen again. And to ensure these power plants are safe, nu the Nuclear Regulatory Commission regulates every aspect of the plant, from the initial, the initial design of the plant to the everyday production of the energy. Tony Petrangolo, the chief nuclear officer at the Nuclear Energy Institute, reported that the, the NRC, the Nuclear Energy Institute, um, has daily inspectors on the site of each nuclear facility, as well as they uh, have re regulation programs that each nuclear facility follows. People are also concerned with the thought of absorbing radiation to themselves, and the fact that that can cause cancers and other harmful effects to us. However, it has been found that it is nearly impossible to do. Dr. James Lovelock found that in a study that nuclear power plants give off less than 1% of the total nuclear um, radiation that we absorb in our lifetimes. You can get more radiation walking through the street and getting it from the rocks in the soil below you or by talking to another human being. Because of these rigorous guidelines, uh, Tony Petrangolo also found that there have been zero radiation-related deaths in the United States for the past half century, well, since this is when the majority of the power plants have been operating. My second supporting claim addresses a number of common misunderstandings when it comes to nuclear energy, which is the cost. Many people believe that the cost of uh, nuclear energy is really high because it takes a lot of money to maintain them constantly, because these facilities run almost 24 hours a day. However, as found by John Grossenberger in 2016, most of this mo money is found in the construction phase of the design. Um, these construction costs are, however, not nuclear specific and are found in almost every single energy production facility today. And compared to other sources of energy, Dr. Nolan Hertel found that nuclear energy costs a lot less to produce in the long term. While fossil fuels cost roughly 2.4 cents per kilowatt hour to produce, and solar energy costs 12.2 kilowatt cent, kil, or cents per kilowatt hour to produce, nuclear energy only costs 1.7 cents per kilowatt hour to produce, which is a lot less than its competitors, which makes it in the long run cheaper and makes up for the, the higher uh, construction cost than usual. And for my third supporting point, <coughs> nuclear energy is also more environmentally friendly um, than fossil fuels. When it comes to issues such as greenhouse gases, um, carbon dioxide emissions are a large concern as a byproduct of energy. However, with nuclear energy, uh, the energy is produced, produced in nuclear fission, which means that the energy is produced by heat from nuclear fission, which does not cause any burning, doesn't cause any reaction. Um, whereas fossil fuels, the heat is caused by the burning of the fuels themselves, which releases gases in the atmosphere. This leads to no air pollution at all, and no CO2 gases being released in the environment, as found by the Nuclear Energy Institute in a study they did in 2008. To ensure that the nuclear power plants are maintaining their byproducts that they, presume, they, that they do produce, and are preserving their surrounding environment, the Nuclear Energy Institute regulates the, that the, regulates the plant's safety procedures and ensures that they are being followed constantly. Dr. Patrick Moore found that in the 103 nuclear power plants in the United States, they, can, they combine to produce, uh, or to avoid the production of 700 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which seems like a lot, and to put that in perspective, that is a collective amount of exhaust that 100 million cars produce. To conclude, uh, the nuclear energy uh, is a safe, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly resource that can effectively be used to replace fossil fuels in the United States.
All right, Jack, the uh, claim is labeled clearly. The secondary claims, when you present them in the uh, preview, uh, really are topics. You've got like one claim, and then you've got like each of the secondary claims becomes a, a dependent clause for that opening claim. And that's a little bit awkward uh, because you're going to have to isolate them in the body of the speech. So I would go ahead and uh, make complete claims in the preview too. Uh, when you get to the body of the speech, uh, you distinguish those ideas pretty clearly. I didn't have a problem following the organizational structure, although again, I do think that you want to make sure that you are consistent on using uh, the declarative statements. I didn't have any problem understanding the inference that you're making, and it sounds relatively smooth when you're presenting it. Uh, so it's a minor quibble, but I think it, uh, for consistency's sake, especially when we get into other presentations that we're doing, it might be more helpful if you uh, followed that kind of consistent uh, labeling. Nothing, nothing derogatory about what you did, except that you know maybe there, there's potential problems in the debates if we don't do it the same way. Uh, the evidence that you cite is pretty good, <laughs> although it sounded to me like a lot of the uh, quoted material is paraphrased and it would be better to have uh, more direct quotes. Uh, there were a couple of places where we're getting post citations also, so you want to be careful about that, but I thought that you had uh, authoritative people that you were citing and uh, you were pretty consistent about distributing them through the individual points. I think the first point on the safety issue needs more information. Um, the idea that there are inspectors on site and that they're, that they're closely regulated certainly it doesn't diminish, I mean I assume that there were inspectors and regulations in uh, Fukushima also. I do think you might want to point out that that was unusual circumstance uh, <coughs> that was going on there. <coughs> And, for instance, if um, you could diminish whatever harms occurred there, uh, that would probably not hurt you either. So maybe expand that first section a little bit. The cost comparison I thought was interesting, and it was you know, similar to uh, the previous speech where we had some numerical comparisons. I thought that your comparison was a little bit simpler and easier to follow, and so uh, it, it certainly suggests that when it comes to competitiveness and in terms of cost that nuclear energy is effective. Um, of course, the energy has to be delivered in a particular system, uh, and it's primarily electricity that we're talking about here, and there may be other issues that we have to worry about. I did like the comparison that you had to the uh, automobiles. I thought that was another interesting way to, to talk about the uh, greenhouse gases on that third point. So that was also effective. Um, it, it's nicely presented for the most part, although I do think sometimes that uh, you uh, are rushing a little bit and you sometimes you're going to have to watch the speech yourself and see if you can pick these things out. I, it's not, I thought it was relatively clear, but sometimes it feels like you are sort of swallowing words at the end of sentences and it's not coming out as clearly as it ought to. Maybe you won't notice it, but I, that was one of those things that it wasn't a big deal, but it was something that was just off the top of my head, something to pay attention to. And since uh, we're trying to give you a little bit of public speaking tips on these things occasionally as well, that might be something to pay attention to. All right. Thank you.